How y'all doing? It's the one and only Sexy Cat here. And we're gonna play an open source version of an old simulator game. This one's called Open TTD. TTD stands for Transport Tycoon Deluxe, but don't tell anybody, because I think that's copyrighted. Supposedly, I don't know, they get around this somehow. I never played the original Transport Tycoon Deluxe, but as I was hunting through multitudes of simulation games, I came across this and have quite enjoyed it. It's inspired me in a lot of ways too. So I'm just gonna show you how I play this game. Man, the terrain generation is really cool. I really want to make a terrain generate kind of thing game. Or engine in various games. An RTS, I want to have some kind of terrain generation. Oh my gosh, there's no cities. What? Where's the cities? Oh, there's a city. See, so yeah, there's, there's like cities around, there's industries, and you build railroads and roads between them. And you get money from your transport company. Okay, these are all cities. They're all on the coasts. So it's kind of cool. The cities grow on themselves as you supply them. So you see how they grow, and you can adjust to the growth. There's a lot of cool ideas in this game. I could implement them in different ways. So looking at this, this town has... So in order to make long-distance rails... You have to have rep good reputation in the town, so you have to give them transportation options before you can start building in their kind of greater territory. So since that costs resources, and in the beginning you need to get some money, um, what I'm going to do is choose this place that's far away from everything else so I can get a lot of these distant territories. But I could should also look at industries here. we got oil source and an oil refinery, so we can make a connection between those. To get some money. This is a factory. You can bring a lot of things there. And as you bring things there, you can bring goods from the factory to the town, which they like. This is ore. Hmm. What do we need? What are these things? I'm supposedly in 1925, and there's these radio towers. I'm so in the past, I don't think I can make cars. Yeah, I can't make cars yet. Everything has to be railroads. Which is kind of tricky. This town is kind of like enclosed on itself. It'd be hard to make a railroad. You can make a boat thing pretty easily. Maybe I should just try that. Oh, I can't even make docks yet? Snap, crackle, pop. Hmm. I think I do just have to use cars. Wait, no, no I can't even make cars. Oh, uh -huh, that's tricky. Maybe I can't make this town until I have cars. I think that's what we resorted to. It's a good name too. I love the gen the town generated names. Chentboro Bay. So this is a steel mill. You bring ore to that and they produce goods. We got wood cutting place, sawmill. And there's like specific forests that are industries. This is a farm that exports grain and, and livestock. This is a tricky landscape. I'm trying to figure out my attack plan here. Hmm. None of these industries are compatible with each other. Once you get started, you can get money, but you need to have an efficient beginning in order to do well in this game. Ooh, there we go. Factory to farm. That's an industry you can do. And we have ore, but there's no steel mills nearby. There's oil, but no oil refineries. Looks like I'll have to do this town. New Prarningville? Okay, that's a terrible name. I gotta rename it. What should we call it? It's by the bay. It's got livestock. Sheeptopia? Sheep, sheer, sheep, 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 Okay, over in sheep, we got to start. Mm, that sounds like a Polish or something. Uh, 
Maybe I should stray from sheep. Something about sheep is they're fluffy and they're hilarious. They make bleating sounds. Bleat. Eh. Hmm. Shepherd. Shepherd's ton. Doesn't ring well. This is a very important thing is to name the town. There's grain. There's hills. No, there's not really hills. This is like a valley, a peninsula kind of thing. What well, rings to mind? This is important. There's lighthouses. Sheep's Town. I like that. I wanted it to be a little funny. Okay. Whichever we wasted two thousand dollars deciding names. Um, I was trying to. So many games you press, you pause the space bar. I've also been playing City Skylines, which maybe we'll do an episode of, which is city building too, but in like a modern rendered, crazy cool format. But I think there's a lot of the cool parts about this game. Sim. Um, City Skylines is basically like uh, Sim City. It's so much like Sim City. And I want to make an economy simulator, but I'm t taking what I like about these games and then evolving it towards what I would prefer. I like being able to, in City Skylines, you can follow a specific person, go through their day, which is pretty cool. But I think the scale is so huge, and the way the buildings build automatically it detaches from you. Things have less meaning. It becomes like endless city that has no bear, like no specific point has meaning anymore. So I think you have to do things to like terrain has to be unique to create unique challenges. I think to make your city more interesting, among a lot of other things to consider. But first, we need to make transportation for this town. So we can't make roads yet because we're not in the year enough. So we need a little railroad. So see how, how far of a platform we can get away with. So you can just transport it to itself. Hmm. I'm gonna try to get three stations here. Maybe like just get as close as I can. Four seems like a good number where I I can fit everything. Two, three, four. The rail will go up like that. One, two, three, four. I don't know if I can wrap around or not. Might just go back and forth. Hmm. I could try to delete these roads, but they might stop me from making stuff if I do that. We're gonna risk it. Maybe I can go around it. So if I make it a full circuit rather than just a U, then I get multiple trains going. If it was just a U, you can definitely only get one train. Unless you make it more complex. Oh, I can go around. Hell yeah. I love business simulation. And something about making transport lines is so stimulating. It's cool the city grows on itself, too. I just kind of wish there was just more. Or there was more influenced by what resources you were getting. So basically the, the game only cares that if if they're get, if they're transporting passengers at all. But different sectors have different amount of passengers you can transport, so it's beneficial to to expand and spread around your transportation potential. There we go. That's a full circuit there. Wonder how the town is going to go around. Should probably give it some bridges so it doesn't mess with my railway. So we can build roads for the town too. Because you want to have control. Control. Because I don't want to make them have a... They'll, they'll make a crosswalk and then it'll interrupt. But that'll only matter if I have my own transportation because they don't have, they don't show their cars or anything. So it's not a big deal, but it also helps the town grow, I think. At least giving it a an, a, a direction to, to grow. We should do one over here. 
Can I do this? I think I need to lower the land, but landscaping is very expensive. Hmm. I don't think it's working. Maybe I can go like this. Quiet, you! <laughs> red, red box of hell. Oh, it worked. Hell yeah. So we got, now we make our train. So currently this is the best engine we can get. And then we'll get some passenger cars because that's mostly what we want to transport. Oop, but I want to have one, oh God, one mail car. Because that helps, delivering mail helps the town grow too. And we give it its trajectory. I should have maybe just stop here if I could have. And be off, train. Choo choo. Chugga 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 chugga. If you find this game, if you want to play this game yourself, it's free. It's an open source, which means its code is available for you to even edit and redistribute even. Basically, you try to recreate Transport Tycoon Deluxe. But this is at least a free version. So let's see. We'll see what kind of passengers it's transporting. I think usually the first run is just a test run. So I'm at fast forward right now. So it looks like I picked up some passengers. Okay, I got $200 from that. That's good. That means it usually takes the time for the town to grow, and then you'll get more passengers. And then this will be a, a fat cow to milk from. And now the town will like me because I've given them a transport option. So thusly, I can construct things in their greater territory. So we can make, we can make a kill in between this factory and this farm. We'll just make... Is... The maximum length seven of a train? Will it let me do it? Really? I didn't know I, I thought seven was the, the maximum train length. Wait, 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 hold on a second. Maybe it is. Okay, I need just livestock. Usually they produce more grain than livestock. Right now I don't need any goods. Yeah, it, the train can't be longer than seven. So you can make longer station, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, shit. One, seven. So, as you progress, you can make more complex rail systems that you use you use these like lights, traffic light things to, to manage them. And so you can make really complex systems, which is pretty neat. I usually like making it a two lane or three lane circuit. And then the trains can inter interconnect between the tracks that they need to get around each other. So we'll go up, 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 up. And then around town. Actually, I won't be able to fit. Station has to be. Oh man, I gotta get behind the factory. Probably make a more efficient route, but. This is a very simple thing. It'll be an easy cash cow. Oh no, is this train going to get demolished because I don't have... It'll just make track. <laughs> Connecting it. So ghetto. But your money's so precious at this point. Alright. So give this train their correct orders. Bada bing. Get those cows over to that factory and slaughter in them. And that grain making cocoa weedies. So maybe it's kind of unrealistic that the trains can just flip. Usually you would need some kind of real track. And you can change that setting. You can adjust all 6,000. Hell yeah. It's so open source that you can change all the kind of settings you want for the kind of game experience you want. Which is really cool. So like one thing I turned off that's is like vehicles 
breaking down after a long time or getting old. Because usually I would play with a lot more vehicle road vehicles. And over time, you're just inundated with hundreds of vehicles you need to replace. And you're spending most of your time playing is just replacing vehicles that are too old. It was just like really annoying. So you can just turn that off, which is great. I think there's also a feature where you can auto buy. Once a vehicle gets too old, you can rebuy it. And so vehicles would break down and you had to fix them as they get older too. Oh, actually have some of the transparency off to see the roads. And the trees. Whoops, yeah, I should have had that forever ago. So now you can see what the town really looks like. Sheep's Town is looking well, looking white and fresh. So they'll kind of, they'll grow, get, grow bigger buildings, make little, little villages here. And if we need to, we can add another train. But it doesn't look like, it's not very high profit right now. Let's see. Oops. Town grows every 13 days. Why is, I thought I got made the interface bigger. What the hell? Yeah, it's double size. Everything still seems very small. Things are even smaller than this? That's crazy. So is this how's this working? It can show me my total profit. Profit this year, twelve thousand. And that includes the the cost it causes it costs to run, so that means it's making a good profit. How about this train? Four thousand last year. Okay, so it's actually doing pretty well. And looks like the town is growing. They're building a basketball court. Fantastic, Sheep's Town. Good to see it grow. Let's see what kind of options. We got a woods right there. Oil, but no oil refinery. Coal, but, but there's a power plant. Hmm. Who owns this? Moonfield? Moofing Field? Who came up with these names? But Moonfield kind of sounds cool. I'm gonna call it Moonfield. Is this interface really double size? It's no freaking way. What does normal size look like? Oh my god. I was playing on this size for a long time? It needs to be quad sized. Whoa, that's big. At least, yeah. People with lower resolution can actually see things. Oh, the font is still. Small. What if we did double size with double size font? Oh, that's what I needed to do. Looks kind of obnoxious, but at least you can read it. I record on pretty high res, but in case, but still, some, there's like a little bit of definition lost. Uh, Moonfield, you're doing, you're looking fresh, looking nice. We need to get a, uh, some transport options. So let's see, I'm gonna. Slow it down again. I just want to get some money. I mean, I spent money, but s soon those will be uh, bringing the dough, and I can get some loans too. So we'll make maybe a longer train here, and oh, we have to consider how we're going to connect this to this. Hmm. So it could be one track that splits off and goes down over there. I'm liking this place less and less. Chantelif Bay is not doing so well. This place, I think I need to make cars or boats because the train won't be able to fit anywhere that makes meaningful access. I could just make it like right next to each other. Hmm. Or I could spend money. The terraforming, but terraforming costs a lot. Very, very much. I'm going to make boats. Oh, yeah. Sweet. That's what I needed. It. That's what I freaking needed. Okay. This will love. This is exactly what this town needs. Some docks. This is going to be... Boats seem to work really well in this game. Tarston? No. It's a terrible name. Hmm. What should we call this?
It's a cape. It's like a peninsula. It's kind of dangling bit. Dingle bat. Dingle bat docks. That's that's Dingle Bat's theme song. Let's try buying one ship because they're kind of expensive. And we'll just make the rounds. We'll have to do a like a comeback kind of route. I can make a canal right there and go around, but that's pretty. You go back woods first. Okay, good. Alright, boat. Ferry. That's what they're called. It's the biggest darn ferry done I've ever seen. Man, 1928 times were, were weird. You're not stopping at the right dock. Did he stop at Dinglebat Valley? <laughs> Dinglebat Valley. <laughs> wow. Sometimes extraordinary names come out. And sometimes terrible names come out. This is both of them. 150. Oh, there we go. So that means the town's growing. Passengers, but no drop off. 250. Okay, they should be very happy with me. Excellent. Dingle Bat's doing good well. Sheep's Town is making money. What? Is, how's the profit on this guy? Oh, he's making less profit. 2,700? Is everything full? It looks nearly full. Oh, 3,000? In one go? Is it a new year or something? How come I didn't make that much profit? 5,000. Okay. Oh, last year was 22,000. This is this year. Oh, 22,000 is much better. As you see, the years go by when you're on fast mode. Sheepstown's growing. As you see, they're expanding past the bridges. Getting some nice trees in their main town. They got a, a movie theater. Gonna watch Terminator 5 there. So now that Dinglebat likes me, I can start taking care of this. their beautiful natural resources. She'll pillage them. Factory, finery. Wait, did some industries close down? Didn't I say this was a good option? Oh, there's oil. There's nothing to bring the factory to. But I can make the oil connection. So we'll just make a little rail for this. I don't think oil places last very long. It's good to have an oil refinery near the water because sometimes your only oil option are oil rigs. Okay, let's make a little bridge, bridgey poo. Go to Dinglebat South. Where the oil rigs are, we're getting fresh oil here. We sell it for high, high dollars. Stoinks. Okay, so still got the same engine. It's all oil tankers. All right. Just want to see see the dollar bills roll in. Oh, they went into the little thing. Did I give them a route? Oh no, I didn't. There we go. They just set them loose. A train. The train's going off the rails. On the crazy train. 11,000? Hot dog. That's a good dollar bills amount, although I'm running. My money's kind of running low. You gotta spend money to make money, baby, though. Especially as these towns grow, I'll get more passengers. Yeah, this is still kind of small. They could use some goods. They get some goods from this. Yes. Hmm. I could. Would the. Could I do a ferry? Oh my god. Heck. I didn't even think of this. There's an oil tanker. Yeah, I think it'll cross if I get the right. I never understand 
how to place docks. Don't yell at me. There we go. So there's a type of boat, the oil. Well, it might not be. Yeah, I do have an oil tank. Oh, I need 60k. There we go. So now. Oh, I need a cargo ship, not an oil tanker. I was just thinking oil. I had oil on the brain. Oil tankers bring oil to the t <laughs> oil refinery. I need goods, which is a cargo ship. Well, there goes 10k. Or I don't know. No, it was, I don't know how much I lost from selling that. Could have paid attention. <laughs> we need a tanker or cargo ship. There we go. So we'll collect the goods there. Should we bring it to? We'll just bring it to the middle. That's all we'll do. Oh, they're taking their sweet time. Okay, the goods will help the town grow even more, possibly. If that's how this game works. It's, it's kind of cryptic. I think, ultimately, I heard goods help the town grow. But ultimately, it's about, uh, if you're just moving stuff around, passengers or mail, towns will grow. Oh man, Froofing Ford, you're such a sad little town. Oh, I think I just showed the very basics. There's a lot more you can d go into depth with this game. But I just kind of want to just just mention this game because it's a fun one. Uh, I suggest playing it yourself. It's really cool. We'll see you next time.